Hi, we're in southern France just outside Toulon. This morning, Naval Group gives us an exclusive access to their command and control solutions for drone systems. Pierre-Antoine Flich, good morning. Great to see you again. Hello, Xavier. Great to see you. We met uh, last year as you unveiled the Sequest family of uh, USVs. Uh, this morning, uh, you're going to introduce uh, the Steery solution to us. First, can you tell us what is this uh, container behind us? Yeah, so the, the Steeris uh, product family is actually a full solution for command, control and mission planning of UXVs. And what you have here in front of you is the Steeris command. So it's really a mobile operation center for UXVs. It's meant to be deployed both on land or on board ships, be they gray ships or civilian ships of opportunity. And in it you have everything you need to run a mission and integrate and exploit the payloads dedicated to that mission. You currently have a USV uh, deployed at sea. Uh, what we see on the screens are live footage for an actual demonstration. It's not pre-recorded uh, scenario. Uh, can you tell us more about uh, what's going on? Yeah, so we're currently running a small ISR uh, mission uh, within the zone of Toulon uh, with our Sequest S USV. And what you see here is the team that is actually running the mission on Steeris mission system within the Steeris command. What is the experience of uh, Naval Group uh, in terms of uh, command and control for unmanned systems? Uh, what is your legacy? So uh, Naval Group really, you have to see this as Naval Group walking on two legs on this topic. Uh, one is our historical background. We've been doing combat management systems for decades already. So we have very specific know-how on technical difficulties or that you need to master to make sure your products are combat ready and on the other hand we have a small team dedicated to drones and autonomous system that really built this system from the bottom up they've been working on these for many years now already it's a system that's sea proven and that's been sold already to uh, different um, different navies um, and it's dedicated to managing multiple drones in different missions and in different environments be there air surface or subsurface and not just naval group drones, right? Absolutely, so the whole system is designed as drone agnostic, so we're currently running with a drone from Sirena, uh, but we've had previous experiences with drones from Airbus, uh, from Shibol, or from other partners, and we're really designing this as an agnostic solution. You mentioned that uh, this modular solution can be based on land, like it is right now. Uh, you mentioned that it can go on uh, gray hulls or vessels of opportunities. Uh, can you tell us more? Do you have uh, recent examples of uh, these containers being uh, on board vessels to control USVs at sea? Yeah, so this is really a 20 feet standard container. Uh, the key thing is it's safe by design. It's a CSC norm compliant container. In it you have the mission bay where you can really uh, data center ready that uh, you can load up and you have the operational center which is the, uh, which are the screens that you see uh, right behind us so you can deploy it very easily on land or on board ships we've done this recently uh, in Denmark uh, within the Baltic Century uh, NATO exercise what about a uh, full-fledged uh, warship? Uh, because I know that uh, Naval Group is now proposing on the export market. It's, uh, for example, FDI, Next Generation Frigate, with the Sequest USV. So is there a layer of uh, Steeris embedded inside the CEDIS uh, combat management system? What you see here is really one of the three types of integrations we could do. So Steeris Command offers you a very um, agnostic solution. You just pick up everything is in the container, you put it on whatever ship and it functions from communications that are on the roof all the way to energy because it's auto sufficient in energy. Then we have a light version of the command light that you can deploy as hardened computers within an operational center or on the bridge of a ship. Obviously, the more integrated version is directly within multifunction consoles that would be already existing in an operational uh, command center for a frigate, for example. This works because Steeris mission system is fully virtualized, so you can run it from a PC to a MFCC. Pierre-Antoine, what makes Naval Group's Steeris solution unique compared to other autonomy and uh, drone uh, command and control solutions uh, out there? So I'd say one, one thing that makes it very unique is this very strong focus on being combat ready. So this basically translates in a couple of key features that we've embedded in the system from the start. 
some key technological bricks, typically managing the tactical situation. It's something we have very strong background in doing and that's difficult to execute. Um, we're cyber ready by design. We've anticipated cyber threats so that we can deploy on operational theaters easily. Uh, we've anticipated the weaponization of UXE. So this system has some key features that will enable us to manage uh, armed U USVs in the near future. Uh, and also we've thought about what the drone is really in what environment it's it's being deployed and that's within a fleet so we're capable of interfacing with superior systems be there the combat management system a c4 i star or just as we've done it nato systems so for that we're already compliant with key nato uh, stanags uh, and we have internal military message handling system that basically decodes up tasks coming from superior systems into a mission here. To my knowledge, at this point, we're the only French-made system that's both multi-drone, multi-environment, and multi-mission that's been C-proven today. And lastly, what's next for Steeris solution? Uh, so Steeris has actually already a pretty good operational track record. Uh, it's been deployed on French LPDs with the Schiebel S100. It's been deployed on French frigates with the VSR. 700 and it's already the main uh, mission management system on the Belgian MCM, mine countermeasure uh, vessels, Tiris MS is on top of uh, XL's Umisoft toolbox. Um, we've just come back from Denmark with we, where we've been a couple of days uh, with a NATO Baltic Century exercise and now we're moving to Ripmus, so three weeks off the Portuguese coast with Sirena's Sequest S and in a new configuration. So what's new for us is we're opening a new mission domain working on anti-submarine warfare with Styris MS. Very well, Pierre-Antoine, thank you very much. Thank you.